Helldivers 2, I bought it. I haven't really done anything yet. However, when I watched the trailer, it looked a lot like that movie. And uh, I like Starship Troopers quite a bit. They came out when I was a freshman in college. So there we go. We're dating myself. But anyway, it was a good time. So clearly we need to look at the music. And welcome in, by the way. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. On this YouTube channel, we do a lot of surface level music analysis, which is basically just talking about what is in the piece. A lot of rewinds, a lot of appreciation, layered listening. So anyway, let's listen to the main theme. I'm excited. Let's go. passionate <laughs> introduction of the melody is very big Dy dynamically speaking this is a very present chunk of the composition meaning it's very loud uh the cool part though it's i mean that's all great and stuff you know loud music great music i think it's cool that it's in five there's five beats per measure in the beginning but i feel like it was like kind of super disguised if you just listen again real quick one two three four five That's cool, but I feel like the string part was like was really messing with my head because in the beginning, like there's you you have like this there's an eighth note kind of pulse dun, 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 going on and kind of grooving with it, which is fine. That makes sense. But then there's like this yeah like it start we we hear an articulation and it goes to like arco bowing. I was like whoa, what's going on? And then it feels kind of polyrhythmic. It definitely uh, fooled me. Again, just listen down to the the mid range here. That's cool. And then, obviously, and we drop into it. But what's cool about that, though, is the way the brass is used to kind of rise. It's suspenseful. The uh, the the way the, sh the the contour is going up, and then you get sudden, like kind of just this anticipation in the strings. It sounds very dissonant, and then we drop into bum 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 bum, and the horns are being used. Uh, very big. It's, it's very, it's very fanfare ish, but with this cool sci-fi alien space action, violent thing going on in the background. bo <laughs> bo Ba -da, that's the only spot that we get that that da da. You hear some tonguing in the horn players, so that little just articulation change there makes it feel very like oh we're we're really going somewhere. It almost feels it almost feels fantasy like, but really really takes it away from the fantasy feeling and more of the science fiction. It's the mid range, uh, I guess synth based kind of pulsy stuff that's going on because it's so polyrhythmic versus the other parts. Like this is where I really didn't feel like it was in five. I was like whoa, this is kind of cool. Because you get these groupings that are happening. I'm going back 10 seconds here. Just listen. Ignore the melody. Just l and listen above the low end bass. Just listen right in the middle. Like it's just like I was like, wait, where are we going? And we're getting like a. I was like, we're like some inverted clave thing happening. I don't know what's going on, but it works really, really well. And it kind of gives us like, if you just take the whole thing and listen to it, you know, as the composite, it feels really good. Oh, the strings. go somewhere else we got some percussion we had some other synth stuff come in if you listen to the strings it's it's not counter melody it's just such a great harmony underneath it but it provides a nice texture because you don't have it earlier i went back about 15 seconds here ba ba 
ba boom boom. Nice big fall there. It's so lyrical, so gorgeous. Whatever the line is there, it's very busy in comparison and it feels way more just pushing. And obviously we're going to jump into this. Okay, so what is this next section going to have? Back five seconds. Let's see what this next section is. So uh three three two two being our, our main focus there. So that's cool. You're feeling it in, so three and three is six. Obviously plus two is eight, plus two is ten. So you're feeling it like the groove is in ten eight, which you know, like it's still like five was the main factor before, right? Ten is still related to five. So you can see how that went there, but it feels so different because the pulse is so locked on to the groupings take over for how you are perceiving uh, the beat there. All And you, you can ignore all of that, right? You don't need to be counting like sitting there like, oh, I wonder what the eighth note is. I wonder what the quarter note. You can ignore all that and just be like, oh, this is cool. Like rhythmically, this is pretty sweet because it like, it just makes me feel a certain way. Yeah, none of the like, you know, this is all just surface level anyway. It's not like we're going down and transcribing and notating, trying to figure out everything. Um, all of this is just to be like, help your ears just listen down a little further and be like, oh, cool. There's these things happening. And maybe like the, the goal here would be like, well, I wonder what's happening. And you can just get better at identifying what instruments are doing what. And, you know, possibly guessing, well, what's behind, I mean, that's all I'm doing. I'm just guessing what's behind the mind of the composer and why are they making these musical choices? Not like why, like in a, like a criticizing way, just like wondering, like a pondering way of like, this is cool, right? Like to me, this music and like art of this kind of creation of these kind of sounds, it's so cool, man. Like it's, it's really, really fascinating. I went back to the 45 second mark because uh, I just want to hear like the, the synthy stuff that was happening. <laughs> Yeah, that provides a completely different texture against uh, what was going on before. Even with the switching to 10, even with that aside, we haven't really had this sound yet. That feels like a simple development of how to connect the beginning and now connect the next. We'll see if the next part's different. This might be the exact same like verse. It's not really a verse, but you know what I mean? Like the same presentation of the theme. Maybe there's some differences, but I feel like that's like a simple yet super effective way to do that. And at, at no point is it not interesting. That was very interesting. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, that was a great chunker there. So that was, I was about, hey, I wonder if it's gonna be the same. It was not the same. We had a lot of differences, especially we felt like some trumpets came in. Harmonically, we got like some different harmonies happening. And our chord progression took a change. And it pushed us into that section. And I feel like there was maybe some different use of strings. And then a couple other things. We'll, I'll, I'll stop and talk about them when we hear them though. Oh, yeah. Ba -da -da -da. That just the descending, it's so lyrical. Sorry, we stopped right away, but the violin's right there. It's so great. Here it is. And then, oh my God, dude. We don't we don't resolve on the downbeat. We get it on the upbeat, and so there's some displacement. It makes you anticipate. You don't get it, and then the payload. It's even better. It's it's really good writing. Little things like that. It just makes the listening experience, in my opinion, just significantly better. Now uh, we got the nice forte piano. Well, not quite a forte piano. Just meaning 
the brass section's playing this chord. There's sound. It goes away a little bit, and then it kind of crescendos back into the next phrase. Nice little touch here. That's 117. Let's go back to 109 and grab this little uh, the brass movement here. that so the fact that it was that different from the beginning development and we still felt like we're in five we still had the, the bass pulsing down there the main components were there but we had so many little differences that it just made it feel like a really good piece of music so far all right we're only 132 out of 337 i know i nerd out for this stuff but hey it's a good time all right back five seconds let's keep going What a section, man. The, I guess we'll call this the bridge. We went somewhere else. We really gave the strings an exposed moment. We have some soloistic properties. It's very, it feels very, at first, like a string quartet. feels more than that, though. It's very different than the beginning. Dynamically, we come way down. We lose the pulse. The sense of time goes somewhere else. It feels much more spacious. And it's uh, safe to say we're not matching the messages that we're giving on the screen because... Those are staying kind of consistent, and this gives such a different emotion with the playing. So let's go grab that part again, and we'll definitely stop here and there to uh, kind of talk about what's happening. I love the big low brass chunk that comes into this, though. It's coming. Yeah, man. High strings sneak in. And at first I was like, it sounded like pizzicato, like, like, but with some reverb on there, but it, it's probably just keyboard patches, but it has such a great effect to just pull the listener's attention. Cause you got to kind of like almost sit forward on your chair because everything we were kind of being spoon fed dynamics, like volume was like right there, right there. Like you're in five here, this is big, dark brooding, but now this change happens and you're like, well, wait, what's going on? It's very, it's like, you know, you're talking to someone, you talk really loud and you bring your voice way down, you know, they're going to have to like, listen in to like hear you. This is a very effective use of like just taking your audience to a new spot here. Our soloist of properties here in the string. Ba, ba, da, da, ba, ba, da. That's a, and a really nice harmonies there coming in the cello. Gorgeous. I, I can't sing you back. That's the melody. That's that's not me. Just saying it's a, it's a nice theme that they're using here. Mm. Some developments. Restating that idea. Much higher in range though. Oh, ba, da, da. I didn't sing that right either, but that the horn part comes in. I didn't even notice that the first time I was so focused on the, the string melody up top there. So they take that same idea you just had in a, a solo player and now you've developed it and you put it up an octave and uh, it just, it's just developing the theme, right? It's, it's, it's pretty stock standard, but it sounds really, really good here.
that was the moment. Before we finish it out, we have to go back because, oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh, man. Wilbert Rodgers. Okay, okay. Wilbert Rodgers, the second, in fact, actually. Okay, so this is some stuff. Let's go back here. I think that was a... Man, I kind of lost track of what was on the screen here. No, it's it's more than this. Um, A little bit past this. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Even the, the, the feel, the tempo doesn't change here, but just introducing that little line underneath really pushes it forward. Was super hyper focused that time you're getting the the melody and then the response from high strings and middle strings so horns are obviously taking what we're doing here and then strings are echoing it back to us and it, it's it's quite gorgeous here we go We'll get to this transition in a second. The last thing I want to say about the previous spot is since we it's so like kind of open sounding, it almost it kind of it has like a cinematic because we it's like it's almost like cheesy to say we almost get like a rope snare drum feel in there. It's not a big cinematic march type thing, but it just has that kind of feel to it, if that makes sense, which that could be like placebo, right? Because I'm thinking, well, it's like space military and, and my brain wants to go there. So that may or may not be purposeful. It just, that just might be a fleeting idea that I'm having here. But either way, all of that though, that contrast to where it's about to go to, we stopped it right in the middle of this like pretty intense build with like a massive choir, it sounds like, and just a lot of rush of volume right away. So I went back about eight seconds here so we can grab this transition again. Gut, 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 gut. Did you hear that drop? Big. That's that was the biggest rhythmic like volume figure that we've had in the entire piece. I think I'm pretty sure. So uh, basically, at the end, after the three minute mark, we get to that point. We've arrived. That's the climax from at least my experience of what's going on here. And uh, and then we're most likely gonna kind of just fade away with these really, really the tuning on the chords sounds great. Uh, if this is all real live players, it sounds awesome. I have, sometimes it gets so hard to tell if stuff is in a DAW what's going on but it sounds really good the blend and just balance between the choir layers here the brass the strings it's very very nice i do want to get the bakuguba you got one more time so i'm just going to go back and then we will let it play out here There it is, man. That was great. So I guess I ask you this. Is the game as good as this theme? Because the theme is really good. I bought it. I've installed it. I've got nothing else going on. I was like, well, I want to hear this theme. So you can let me know in the comments down below, please. And thank you. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me when I'm live on Twitch. Link for all the socials down in the video description below. Please and thank you. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel so you can catch next video. YouTube thinks you want to watch one of these two next. Have a great day. I appreciate you being here. Take it easy. Bye-bye.